I've got a sweet mountain bike that gets me out on the trail, but I've gotten into trouble with it out there. Oh. Ah. So I'm on a mission to document trails for adaptive riders. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Weekly Ride. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jeremy McGee. We are in Fruta, Col Fruta Colorado right now, riding Cocopelli, right? Yeah. Right now, I want to introduce everybody. So I'm gonna have everybody say their name, where they're from, and one word that describes Daniel, the Danimal. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm from Fruta. I'm not too Um Danimal is the Danimal. He's a mentor. He coached my kid in mountain biking for years. He's awesome. I am Carrie from Fruta. Uh, Danimal's Danimal, and he's just awesome. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Shannon Wattis. I'm from Fruta, and Daniel is bodacious. Bodacious. Hi, I'm Brody, and I'm from Fruta, and Dan is just amazing at everything. That's kind of cool. Hey, I'm Bob Key. I'm from Fruta, Colorado, and Danimal is inspirational. Inspirational, good one. I agree. I'm Travis. I'm from Fruta, Colorado, and Danimal is large. Large and in charge. Large and in charge. <laughs> I'm Adam from Fruta, Colorado. And uh, Dan's a slut. Slut, that's what I call him, oh my god. <laughs> and you must be I the guess, Daniel, the Danimal. That's what they call me, I suppose. What's happening with your rig, dude? Welcome back to Fruta. The throttle's not working, yeah? Again. Now the throttle for an adaptive rider is super important, actually. When you need both hands on the handlebars, when you're climbing something technical or you need precision steering, but you still need to prop propel yourself, that throttle is a big freaking deal. Um, so the fact that it's not working is gonna really suck for the Danimal. Um, no. But he rips. You gotta earn your beer. What was that? You gotta earn your beer. Yeah. I think I'm ready for one right now. All right, less talking, more riding. For the route, we parked at the Hawkeye Trailhead and started the climb up Lions Road. This is loose, steep, and heinous. Then we connected to Mac Ridge Road. There's a few false summits, but you'll know you're at the top when the views of the Colorado River and Horse Thief Canyon open up. After a beer at the top, we hit the turnaround point and took the Mac Ridge connector back to Lions Road for a high speed brain rattling downhill all the way back to the cars for guess what beers and it all started with a heinous climb no we're gonna yeah. go up to proper mac oh okay cut over and then there's a trail that links over and there's no sign on this side but on the other side there's a sign that says it's open how's everybody doing back there Eee, that was a solid climb. Best ride ever. Yeah, what's up? Thought you guys were gonna race to the top. God, let's go. <laughs> I, was too, I couldn't even think of something. <laughs> <laughs> that is a solid climb, everybody's winded. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> oh, I think we're about three quarters to the top now. We're getting there, we're working our way up there. Six eighths. Six eighths? Yeah. Okay. More like six eights or 12 sixteenths ish. That's a big hill. Yeah. Whew. You look great. You Thanks. Like you really do. I re I'm trying. <laughs>
Oh my God. That is ridiculous. The uh, fisheye lands probably doesn't do it justice, but uh, check this out, it's amazing. So from here you can see the bottom side of uh, Mary's. That's the stuff we rode last year, right? Yes. If you missed uh, that video last year, I'm here riding with Daniel Mary's, the spot that he's talking about that we can see from here. There's a link. I'll put a link to that video up here in the corner. That whole butte on the bottom is Horse Thief Bench. If you look long enough, your eyes might not be good enough. You can see shiny people like moving up and down. What are you trying to say? My eyes not, might not be good enough. Hey, doggy. You gotta check your subscription. <laughs> He's right, my eyes suck. Especially since I've been wearing my prescription glasses all morning and then I put these on, which are not prescription. I can't see shit. Hey, get your ass back here. What are you doing, doggy? Getting those bunny rabbits. What are you doing, doggy? Yeah. No? Yeah. Here's Touch blood. cans, not hands. Cans, not hands. <laughs> When's the last you got, time you, you washed your hair? Oh, so. uh, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's no wash November, right? No wash November. <laughs> Oh, did someone eat it? Someone ate shit. Did someone crash? No. Woo. GoPro, stop recording. All right, here's where a throttle comes in handy. Let me just shift you over. See, if he had a throttle, he could get right through that. There it is. Nice, Danny boy. Okay, now it's my turn to do it. Watch your, uh, watch your toe there, Chuck. Yep. Girls get the That's what a throttle does for you. Oh, this is Nella. I thought we were going over those rocks. Another summit. Another summit. <laughs> This section gets a little dicey. This is just the road, but it's just steep and rocky. Let me know if you can do a brake check. <laughs>
my god! My brain is rattling. How's that, huh? Yeah. Emily! Touch cans, not hands. Cheers, sir. <laughs> That's a good looking man right there. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on that one. That was super fun. It was only not even seven miles. Oh, I forgot to stop my GPS. There it goes. But that was actually fun and great crew. It's all about just making new friends and hanging out. I've got everybody's information in the caption. I've got a, a download GPX file, link to my Strava, everything down in the caption. Make sure you check it out. The whole route, I would say um, a MTB2 for that one spot. Some riders might need a spot, but otherwise it's all wide open and you're good to go. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to the whole crew. Now put that phone down and go get your hug from Mother Nature. Taste of Moab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a way better line. Yeah. That was a good line. Oh. <laughs>